Okay, just a short video to show here the two popular Felpro uh, intake manifold gaskets for these uh, Blueprint Engines H9009 cylinder heads. All have part numbers in the intro screen. You don't have to try to memorize stuff. So <clears throat> this is the popular this is the popular Felpro 1262. So let's put that up here and see how it looks. Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this is Blueprint Engines doesn't have a lot of recommended parts, and you have to kind of pick it up on the blogosphere. I mean, I've got a video on my channel about which spark plug to use for these uh, H9009 cylinder heads. So let's just start with the popular Felpro 1262 Printo Seal. You can trim these. You see I've hooked it underneath here on the normal head gasket hooks. It's not exactly lined up. Could you get that to line up okay? Yeah, I think you could. Right, you could get that. I'm putting a little pressure on it. You can trim these gaskets here. You could trim this here. You trim out the old 351 Windsor bolt hole. A lot of people do that on not only this cylinder head, but other aftermarket cylinder heads. Okay, so that's popular Felpro 1262. Here's the 1262, but the S which has a steel core. Okay, <clears throat> so you're not going to trim the steel core, right? Okay, so ports line up pretty good. I mean, you got more port here than you need for these, uh, uh, for the 9009 cylinder head. You don't have to do any bolt trimming or coolant trimming. First thing that's going to grab you here is the coolant passage is huge. I don't know what, I don't know what they were thinking there with that cooling passage. It must have been another cylinder head, or they're just trying to universally cover a lot. But I think I'm going to go with with uh, this one here. I'm going to use a extremely light, very light skim code of ultra gray, ultra gray to hold this in place, and. Uh, and this, this larger than required uh, port match, well, who cares? Bigger is better than smaller. Yeah, I know, that's what she said. So uh, we're going to go with that and uh, hope this helps. If you've got other experiences with these blueprint cylinder heads with uh, intake manifold gaskets, uh, leave a comment. You can, you'll see that uh, blueprint cylinder heads has mixed answers on their Q&A on the Summit Racing site. They'll sometimes quote Felpro 1250. 1250 is the common Felpro gasket. It's not a Printo seal. It probably works. But uh, anyway, I hope this helps. I, I really wish Blueprint engines would have a little bit more helpful information. But together, we'll get to the bottom of it. Okay, thanks, fellas. Okay, quick addendum video on these uh, Felpro 1263S steel core. Uh, without the tripod so we can move around a little. So you can see the steel core in there. So some of you are like, what did he mean by can't trim? Trimming would be difficult, depending on where you trim. So is it really necessary? I don't think it is. Look at these ports here. Now, one thing I wanted to point out with this addendum video, it's literally sitting right here. It's just resting on that. Is that the way I'm going to install it? I probably could, and I think a lot of people do, and it would work. And I'm going to use a little bit of skim coat, Permatex Ultra Gray. And I'm going to prop it up a little bit here. Uh, square it up a little bit, as you can see. I'm going to do that, and it uh, should be fine. Uh, when I install a small block Ford intake, I use uh, 516's dowel pins. They're just bolts with the heads cut off. You know, we've seen the engine masters with the plunk method, and, and that's BS. Just do it right. Use the dowels and uh, set it down straight. If you have to have a helper help you, do that. But uh, <laughs> like I said earlier, these ports, these water ports are pretty big. Somebody leave a comment if they know what... Felpro is trying to cover. Maybe that's a racing head or something. That's a pretty big water port. Should be okay though. Okay, another addendum video showing the Edelbrock Performer RPM. 
And uh, 351 Windsor here for my 393 stroker. Pretty common intake. This is the 1262S intake manifold. Just kind of lined up. Got a little tape there just to show you. The HP heads block off the coolant port. It doesn't exist in the head. It's blocked off in the gasket here. So we can see uh, the looks like the Edelbrock kind of uses the old school Windsor water passage. Ports look pretty lined up. Again, 1262S, S for steel core. Somebody is going to say, why aren't you using the uh, Reformer RPM air gap? You know, I'm not sure that will fit under the hood of a 69 Mustang. Leave a comment uh, if you think so, because I'm concerned that the Edelbrock Performer is not going to fit. I'm not going to be able to close the hood on an air cleaner, but uh, I'd like to hear your experience on that. Leave a comment if you care. Thanks.